Public British TV to show man's rod for first time in history. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rabbah Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Free Willy, British TV to show erect penis for first time in history, but online public not impressed. So this is another example of why this kingdom must be destroyed, okay? I mean, you can see the wickedness, you know, that is polluting the whole earth and Salakia, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai just suddenly put another scripture in my head. So I would like to bring that out real quick. The second Esdras is one of, one of my most favorite books. Okay. This is the book of second Esdras, just real quick. Chapter 15, verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world the sword, an instrument of death, famine, a, a horrible way to die, death, which the majority of the world fears, and destruction, which shall come upon the entire world. Why? For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. For wickedness have exceedingly, exceedingly for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right, hurtful works are fulfilled. Now, when you read the book of Genesis on the account of Noah, it tells you that it repented of, of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that, that well, it, 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 it repented of the Most High that he made men. Okay, so you know that I mean that the Most High, he 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 was he was angry, he was pissed at what he was seeing happening on the planet Earth, and that's why he flooded the whole planet. Okay, he flooded the whole planet because wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole Earth. Okay, the thoughts of men was only wicked continually, corrupted, evil. And the same thing that happened during the time of Noah is happening now. During the time of Noah, the whole world was filled with wickedness. Okay, adultery, murder, homosexuality. Okay, men have corrupted, corrupted their way during the time of Noah. And in this generation, the elect would, would, would spiritually be Noah. Because once again, the elect is out there on the highways and, hell, and hedges telling you people to get up out, telling the, uh, the, is the, the uh, telling our people to get up out of the ways of, 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 of the wicked, man. Before the Most High bring this, this global destruction, which is the nuclear destruction, which is gonna take place during the time of World War III. So the reason why Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai is going to bring plagues upon the world because wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And this right here is wicked. This man is smiling while looking at another man's rod. As if that's something that, that that's supposed to be cute or funny about. Okay? You're a real fruitcake. Okay? First off, it's a wicked thing for a man to look at the nakedness of another man. Okay?
the United Kingdom's Channel 4 is to air a taboo shattering documentary fe featuring close up of eight erect rods, AKA penises, a first in broadcasting history. The target audience responded to the news with what else? Tropical humor. And there's nothing humorous about this, okay? It's not okay to look at, if you a man, it's not okay to look at the rod of another man. It's not okay, man. You're looking at the rod of, of, of somebody of the same sex, and then he got a smile on his face. You a real fruitcake, man, okay? And, 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 and Yahweh Ba Shum Yahweh Shai is going to bring judgment on you because you have performed a wicked act. The, docu me, the, the documentary scheduled a 10 p.m. BST on Monday is called Me and My Penis. It explores various aspects of masculini mascu masculinity as artist Ajamu Axe takes naked photos of eight men and discusses male issues with them. The explicit shots will apparently also mark the first time that an erect penis has been shown on terrestrial TV. According to the Independent, the Daily Mail said that the broadcasters hope to remain on the good side of the British media watchdog of calm by breaking the male nudity taboo on the grounds that these aroused private parts are shown in an, in an entirely artistic context. Are you aware that there is the possibility of little kids who might just hold, who, who are, are you aware of the possibility that, that there might be kids who just so happen to be turning the channel on their TV who might accidentally see a man's rod on TV? A little kid seeing a man's rod on TV. It's a dang shame. Kids can't e cannot even watch TV no more because, because now there's a possibility of a man's rod uh, 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 along with his nutsack being shown on TV. That's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father and the Son, is going to bring judgment on a global scale on this planet. This world is going to suffer in the future. And everybody that is down with the wicked is going to suffer with the wicked. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. The word decree, when you look it up, it means a decision or a law. This right here is a wicked decision. The word woe means destruction. So destruction is coming to the wicked. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22. Thou shall not lie with mankind as thou liest with a uh, womankind. It is abomination, right? Because to look at another man's nakedness, that's that, if you a man looking at another man's nakedness, that's the same as lying down with mankind. Because what what's the whole purpose of, of, of a man looking looking at a woman naked? To pop her, to have sex with her. So if if, if you a man looking at another man's nakedness, that that's the same as, well, I wouldn't say it's the same as having sex with a man, but it is a very abominable act, okay? It is a very abominable act. And the most I can judge you for that, for, for looking at the rod of another man, okay? The scriptures tell you in this very same verse, thou shalt not look upon the nakedness of thy father. So how much more another man outside of your family you're not supposed to look upon the nakedness of your own father. You're not even supposed to look upon the nakedness of your own mother because that's the same as looking at the nakedness of your own father. So if you're not supposed to look at the nakedness of your own father, how much more the nakedness of another man outside of your family? 
the Most High is going to, the, the, the Heavenly Father and His Son is going to kill the two thirds of our people. You're going to get your judgment, dude. You over here smiling like life is funny. And you know what? He, he might be a tear. Because no normal Jake would think this is okay. Bible verses about man shall not lie with mankind. Leviticus, I already read this. 18 verse 22, thou shalt not lie with mankind as thou liest with a woman. It is abomination, okay? So the whole purpose of looking at another woman's nakedness is to pop her, to have sex with her. So for, for a man to be looking upon the nakedness of another man, that's an abominable act, which the word abomination means a vile or, or uh, the word abomination means something that, that is vile or filthy. Leviticus 20 verse 13, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. Numbers 23 verse 19, Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh, Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shai is not a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Leviticus, the book of 1 Corinthians, 6 verse 9 to 10. Well, I'll just read verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Okay, this dude is very effeminate. Okay. And if you're okay with, 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 with a man's rod and his nutsack being shown on public TV, then you're effeminate too, man. Okay? If something is not right with you. It says, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. I might as well uh, read more of it. Okay, no abusers of them. Whoa, hold on. Let me read it again. Uh, uh, First Corinthians six verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous? Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Bashum Yahweh Shai. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves were mankind. Okay, even if even if you're not physically touching the dude who is naked, you're still abusing yourself, man. You're abusing yourself mentally and you don't even know it because you're looking at something that you're not supposed to be looking at. You're looking at the rod of another man. So 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 you you abusing yourself, man. This, this, these two right here will be considered abusers of themselves with mankind. Okay, abusers of themselves with mankind is also talking about homosexuality. Men having sex with men, working that which is unseemly. Verse 10, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. So everything that is listed above shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. So Shalom is on to the next one. Shalom.